Hachi Machi Middle Class Famous Tour update, Kippy. Uh oh. We got a couple alerts going out. Straighten them out a little bit. Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis, Nashville, Indy, Philadelphia. That show sold out already Yikes. three months ahead of time. We added a second show. Tickets are on sale right now. Ooh. Then we're going up to Providence, Rhode Island. That's going to sell out in Boston. There's low ticket alert. So get those tickets now. We'd love to see you. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey, yeah. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, Now, trash, I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful trash. day down here at Aunt Toadie's basement. Mm-hmm. She's out. Okay. Sign up for a softball league. All right. Yeah, doing pretty good. <laughs> getting out there, fresh air. Stretch the legs a little bit. Getting some exercise. Uh-huh. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. <laughs> This is a family episode. Oh, man. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage, international businessman, Prince of Park Avenue, mm-hmm. always the king of the boardwalk, as I said many times, hey. Mr. Neptune, 2005. Give it up for him. KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, yo? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe over there on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Fritter of and then obviously I'd be remiss, I'd be a jerk off, I'd be an asshole, I'd be a real big piece of trash uh-huh. if I didn't mention, Woo, I know where this is going, www.patreon.com slash garbage, folks, you sign up over there, Hachi you machi. get a whole bunch of content over yeah, there, I'm do. talking bonus episodes of AYG, you uh-huh. get episodes of Hard Feelings, which uh-huh. is a completely different podcast where we really let it all hang the fuck out, mm-hmm. that's on the $10 level, and listen, the homies that are watching, listening, comment and tell those bozos how good that $10 level is because it's a fucking party. It's a value. Chicken sandwich, by the way. Yeah, everybody keep it zipped. Also, one of the gripping uh, series over there on the oh, Patreon boy. is Fat Court, which uh, okay. I star in. <laughs> you star, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I star in Fat Court. However, what? Turns out I'm getting a co-star. Okay. <laughs> Indictments have been handed down. Toby. <laughs> Toby's put Toby put on 30 pounds. Internal affairs got a hold of love handles over here. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing his fat ass up on the scale. Listen. What's going on, pork chop? What are you doing? <laughs> When you took your shirt off to go into the lake, I was like, oh, my God. I thought yeah. I was looking in a mirror. <laughs> no, I, it's great. All right. Hold on. It's what are you cra- doing at night? <laughs> You're doing some emotional eating. I can tell that. Yeah. Is it all eating emotional? <laughs> what are you, crazy? For me, it is. It sits down to fucking just eat a salad. <laughs> what are you, fucking nuts, dude? What are you nibbling on? Well, we'll save that for my fucking... I'll have my day in court. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking... <laughs> I'm not going to be out on the fucking front steps of the court here selling out my dirty laundry. Yeah, just it's so going to be know. a closed hearing, by the way, only on Patreon. Just so you know, when you lawyer up, you're guilty, okay? Uh, yeah, if you oh, whatever. Nothing to hide. Whatever. I am, oh, I am for sure bringing a lawyer. <laughs> That's what I'm doing 100%. Um, listen, I have put on... Here, Toby, hit me. I have, <laughs> I have put on weight, obviously. You don't have to go in that close anymore, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you get an extra wide shot. He's got to pull to... back now <laughs> to get a close up on his pork chop. Um, I do think it's insane that we are being classified as the same two, even in the world of overweightedness. It's crazy to me. Sure. Yeah. But, hey, listen, when you make your living calling someone fat and then you put on a couple of pounds, <laughs> you got to take the heat. Yeah, you got to take a little shot. <laughs> My bank account thanks you. <laughs> but, yeah, check out Patreon. So that's going to be uh, that's gonna be coming up. I, I have to see my day in court. I have to get on an exercise program. I have to get start eating right. And we're going to have, uh, if you're not familiar, Foley has to do monthly weigh-ins where we weigh them. And uh, you get financial rewards for... Um, if you lose your weight. Incentives. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. You get back on track over here. I like to hear it. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinary. He doesn't need fat court. Got a tight little body on it. Get in a big old piece from the word around the campfire. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, dudes? What up, dog? 
I, you're not. You're you're wrong. I'm fatter than I've ever been. I know. You got a little pot belly. <laughs> That's about it. You got it you, does. you have an old man pot belly. Yeah, you have real like, especially when you took your shirt off at the or like you you you, you look like a mechanic trying to figure out a carburetor. <laughs> No he puts good, his dude. hands on the back of his fucking. <laughs> his hands are like this. His belly's out. He's got a t-shirt tucked in his back pocket. He's standing like, around fuck? like Forrest Gump on a dock. Ah, uh, it's a lot. I look really good straight on. It's when yeah. you see me in three dimensions, it gets a little wonky. It is. Well, you do get your 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 perspective. Everybody's perspective of themselves obviously gets wonky because when it's you fucked up because you dude, Foley was at his biggest, which was like four hundred and fifteen pounds, mm-hmm. and we would see a guy like th- like maybe two eighty five walking down the street and he'd be like, I'm not as fat as that guy, am I? I'm like, what? He's like four of that guy. I say it all the time. I go back to this one picture in high school. Uh, it was the all-star football game in the spring of my senior year. And you still think that's what you look no, like? No, no, oh, no. Okay. I thought I was fucking fat, like oh, so man. fat back then. Like I had fucking terrible self-esteem. I still do. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's what mayonnaise is for. <laughs> uh, but I feel like he put an extra syllable in mayonnaise, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> I think it's, it's a real weird. You put a little flair on it. A little bit of rosemary in that stuff. I stretch it out so you know I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you turn it into an aioli real quick. You find out it's something different that I'm getting that has yeah. more calories in it. Now this is mayo mayonnaise. <laughs> double, double the egg yolk. Yeah. Um. But I thought I was fucking so fat back then. Oh, of course. And of course. I look at it. I, I looked at it maybe like this. Was, I looked at it like maybe 10 years after it was taken where I was still probably no more than like 250. I see and pictures. And I was like, holy shit. I see pictures of me and you from five, six years ago. You're smaller than I am now. It's crazy. You're probably like, yeah, 250 or something. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's wild. It's it's Hollywood. Wacky, that's a, what happens. It's a wacky world, really. Yeah, yeah it's bullshit. All this Patreon money goes to your head. Yeah, all, no, it's not that. It's all those fucking pinup ads and fucking Tom Selleck and all them back in the day. You're trying to compare yourself with them. We don't, we don't look like Joey from Friends, okay? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? Huh? <laughs> all yeah. right. Let's get cooking. Gang, it's uh, a f- Okay, sorry. Pardon. I did have one thing I wanted to bring up. Please, go right ahead. I think I'm getting a water cooler for my house. Okay. Okay, I was thinking about this today as well. Because, be- listen, I do bottle water out of the sink in the winter and the summer. Just don't cut it. It's not cold enough. It's like drinking room temperature water. So we buy bottles of water a lot. Like, well, just because we live right next to a deli. If I'm leaving, if I'm coming home, get a nice big bottle of cold Poland Springs. That's my go-to. That's what the bird <laughs> likes as well. But I crush them, and especially in the winter... You're, or in the summer, I'm drinking, like, there's like thousands of fucking water bottles. And I listen, I don't really care about the environment. I'm not a big environment guy. Where do you think that's going? That's then? what I'm, dude, even if I'm throwing these bottles out, I'm like, this is like 30 bottles of fucking every three days. It's, it's going crazy. right in a fucking dolphin's asshole. That's no good. <laughs> Love to be that dolphin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's a guy got to do? <laughs> no, so I was thinking, get that. Get that delivered, like whatever, if it's weekly or monthly or whatever. Because now they got the nice ones you can get on Amazon where the bottle doesn't show. The bottle's at the bottom. So you don't have to do like the big flip over and dump it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to back it up and dump it. Sure. Will it be cold? Cold and hot. You got the Insta hot and the cold. Okay. My wife's very anti this thing. Why? Because it looks like you work at a used car dealership. Well, I think it's a tough look, man. (laughs) (laughs) You get those little plastic, those little snow cone cups. Yeah, I'm trying to close a guy on a fucking Toyota over there in the corner. (laughs) Goddamn reports are due by five. Mm -hmm. I might have an answer for you because I was thinking about getting one in here too. Oh yeah. But I hate when I go somewhere as a guest on a podcast and they give you a cup of water. That's it. I don't. You like a bottle. I like a bottle. I ju- It's not. It's cold. It's crisp. Because like, I guess if I could see it, if it was there, I'd be like, oh, help yourself to water. That's one thing. But I don't know. I just want. Maybe we have bottles for the guest, and I'll, I'll just do the cup okay. of water. I think I have an answer for you with the with, with the with the with the with the house situation. I've been thinking about this a lot too. Um, I know this sounds weird coming out of my mouth, but I don't think the like <clears throat> the reason that I I want to. Get one of those things. Because I have one, because you copy my No, nah, I was thinking about today. Glassman, Rick, sure. kind of got into my head about it. Um, he, I don't think the water, even in New York City, is that great anymore. I don't think that we're really drinking the best water. And I think the way that you could meet halfway with your lady is get one of those fucking filter joints. 
I think they have where. One. What do you mean? Where? What do you mean filter Johns? You can get one. You can get a. It's a. It's a combination of of, of the water jug, mm-hmm. and it has a filter in it. It filters the water. So you just put in regular water? No, I think it all comes together. I believe. I'm. You need. You need a water filtration system. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I was gonna say you should get the. I, I have the the big Brita with the tap on it in the in the fridge. It's excellent. It's we just good. we just got we just put the the cube whatever, but then that's even not the. It best. comes out a little slow. I'll it be cl- honest. Yeah, with I'm you trying know. to fucking. I get this thing cooking here. Yeah. It's like got you got to put the hole in it with the knife at the top like a fucking. No, cup. oh, you're using that. Uh huh. What are, what are you, you a talking? fucking soccer team? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Who uses that? That's what she brought home yesterday. We're not doing that all the time. I didn't even know they still made those. Oh yeah. Oh, your microplastic levels must what, be fucking. Well, what are you perfect. talking about? The Brita? Like yeah. it's the same thing. It's the same concept, but a Brita. No, yeah, but it's it's hard plastic. It's good. So you're drinking out of soft plastic there. I'm not saying it's classy, but they're the same fucking product. No, it's much also, nicer. How, that's, what, how do you that's think, insane? What do you think? What do you think the fil- Do you think he re- he re- replaces the filter on that fucking Brita? Yeah, that's all. Uh, you don't got to replace. That's those what things. I'm saying. So it's the same fucking thing. Both are trashy. I just got it. I got two backups. I'm going to be diligent about it. Good job. I get, well, I'm going to check in with you. And what? How how long does one last? Two months? I'm going to check back in with you, and it's going to be empty. <laughs> Growing up, they last about three to five years. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> dude. Over the pandemic, I was I was. That's staying, a recommendation. I was staying down the shore with a Brita, and there wasn't even a filter in it. We were just <laughs> using. We were just using it as a pitcher. I know, but in your head, it tastes better. Oh, yeah, it's nice uh, and cold. Uh, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks yeah. real crystal clear in those Brita things. Um, no, I, I, I want to start doing some kind of filter because I'm drinking a lot more water these days. But then, so my wife, uh, our friend in the building, has uh, something similar where you buy the glass bottle. You buy Ooh. big glass bottles like the five, like the big but not water cooler. Poland jug. Spring? Poland Spring's kind of tr- I mean, I'm drinking it now, but it's not good water, I don't think. You're nuts. I'm a fucking... You think? This is great water. I thought they got pinched a couple of years ago using creek water. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> it's got the it's a living it's got living organisms in it. It's probiotics, Daddy. I don't need to eat yogurt once you're drinking this. Hey, wouldn't you like getting a nice crayfish in a bottle of water, huh? <laughs> I like algae I can see. Yeah. All right. It's the enemy you know. Um But they, so our friends in the building fill up a big you can go to like a I guess it's a filling station. You're not doing uh, that's that. What Stop. I said. That's I go, fucking hippie and shit. And I go, there's no way I'm gonna on paper, sure, but we're lazy. That's- I'm the guy. Who does it and then never replaces the Brita filter? I'm never gonna. There's just gonna be four empty glass jugs in my. I'm gonna be stashing coins in there. Yeah, that's that's like a few years ago when when fucking uh, hipsters started rolling around with those fucking jugs. The getting, growlers like, getting their beers filled up. Yeah, fuck, loser. Those things fucking sucked. Yeah, fucking thing of honey brown ale. What's going on, dude? Those things. You're not gonna do that. I'm. Uh, yeah, that's why I. Vetoed You're not a it. co-op guy. No. I, I'm, I'm lazy. I want the water to come to me. That's what I want. Deliver it every whatever it is, every month, every two weeks, whatever it is. I'll start fucking stockpiling. Yeah. I'll be a prepper, dude. I don't care. There you go. You need a filtration situation. I don't know what that... What do you, you keep saying that? What does that mean? I don't start, think you know what it means. We got to start filtering our water more. It's better for Yeah, but you. if I get it delivered, that's clean, crisp water. I don't think so. Toby, can you give me a fact check on that? Is Poland Spring good water? Well, it can be anybody. Aquafresh, Leslie's Pools, whatever. <laughs> Aquafresh. <laughs> Wintergreen, yeah, whatever you got. Toothpaste on tap. You know what my brother does is pretty classy. For, like, uh, enga- engagements and affairs, they have a glass, like, something you would put, like, sangria in with uh, some I don't try. cucumber I, uh, water. Real nice. No, get first of all, cucumber stinks. What? Second of all, in the water, it's worse because it's just it's little cucumber. Who the f- first of all, who the fuck do you think you are? Unless I'm checking into a five star hotel, kick fucking rocks with your cucumber water. Hmm. Okay. That's what that's what poor people think is classy. We got we we got hot news on the Poland Spring, dude. Let's They're go. They're currently under lawsuit. For claims, the best goddamn water in America? No, that it's groundwater and not true spring water. They're goddamn lying to you. I don't care where it comes from. I currently drink it out of a fucking, out of the sink in my six-story New York City apartment. That ain't good for you. No, that's what I'm saying. Those pipes are pre-war. Oh, they fought the Nazi, those pipes. Yeah. So I'm like, what the, I, it's better, it's better. Listen, who knows what we're drinking? Meanwhile, I'm not even counting, but I probably drank about 87 beers last week. Who am I to judge the quality of my water? 
You know what I mean? Hmm. It is what it is. All right. But yeah, let's get one in here. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, want yeah. One. Can we get a soda machine? That'd be yeah. pretty cool. What? Where are we going to put it? I don't know. Over by <laughs> Toby, Toby, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> let's teach a soda machine how to edit. You know what would be nice in here is a vending machine. That'd be pretty cool. Stock with vegetables? Whatever. Or Pop Tarts and stuff. Did snacks. I ever tell you I used to buy my bait out of a bait vending machine? Blew my mind that those worms would stay fresh in there. You put them in your trunk last week and they stayed fresh. Yeah, I mean, it's not a dog. It's their worms. It's but they, a- don't they need to breathe? Doesn't the heat kill them? He remember at, in, he threw them right in his trunk and then went to lunch. Yeah, I mean, lucky we didn't call the cops, smash the windows, and get them out of there. They're a couple of crawlers, dude. They're in dirt. Yeah, but they, they, the heat can't be good for them. Well, the where, trunk do you of think, a, where do you think they are in general? They're not in the trunk of a fucking Buick. He's going to stab them with a hook <laughs> and, and drown them. And feed them to fish. But, the best case scenario is that thing gets eaten by what it thinks is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right? That, but, that thing should be sucking my dick how well I'm treating him. You can't him. give fish. I left the radio on. <laughs> <laughs> Zeppelin was playing. You can't give fish dead worms. They Why? won't bite them. They got to they gotta be fresh. I, it's like you, lobsters. You jiggle it. They don't know. What do you know about fish? You're not an angler. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, also, <laughs> sure. Well, I, I am an animal lover. <laughs> yeah. A couple of pigs in your history. <laughs> All right. Easy does. <laughs> I won't stand for this. You're under indictment. Whatever. Let's get in. We gotta get into it. This is a guy. This isn't a goddamn hard feelings. This is a goddamn fucking. What's the other show we do? Are you garbage? That's right, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, there you could get a question read on the air right here on a family episode. Sometimes we do them just me and Kippy. Sometimes we bring a friend back to the show. Uh huh. And have a little company. Yeah. Um. All right. This one is just a home run of a name. This is Patty's Parliament Patio. There you go. <laughs> Marble lights, by the way. But if you're not familiar. It's in the it's on the it's on the Patreon in the you're the cribs video of your house. Yes. Your mom cranks all of her heaters in the back sunroom type Florida room, whatever you want to call that screened in yeah. fucking Bernie hut. <laughs> uh, I mean, I walked in there. It was like <laughs> Bernie huts. All it right. was like walking into a goddamn casino. <laughs> Um, you leave my mother out of this. Shout out to Patty. Shout out to her. Is it garbage to stop at an in- oh this is how how fucking is it garbage to stop at an Indian casino on the way home from work so you can smoke a Bernie in the air conditioning on a hot summer day? Holy shit! That means the AC isn't working in your car as well. Damn, that's the de- the deduction. Those parking lots are huge. I too. know, man. That's like a, that's, that's like a lot of effort. That's like a forty five minute and in, in, you know. There's got to be more to that story. I don't know. I do respect. He's going. It, he's though. going in there for a little, da, 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 or a little knock the edge off or yeah, something. something. Which I mean, if you're there and you're, of course, a Bernie inside is all right. By the way, not a fan. Couple. I'm a couple. I'm like two months off the, three months off the Bernies, maybe. Nice. I've been thinking about them. Yeah. Nah, not really. It's fine. I was. We were ripping them last night, Legion of Skanks. Uh, that's Indoors. They're, they're that the, was all right. That's they're the ones you kind of miss, where you're like. The ones that you didn't get to have all the time were the good, like the indoor SIGs, the whatever SIGs. So when everybody's hanging out inside, I'm fucking, you know, I got 19 beers in me and everyone's cranking them inside. That's yeah. when you want to be like, I'll do one. They got real smoky in there towards the end. Yeah. Those tequila stuff. It was, like a, it was like a card game. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> a, couldn't see in front of you. <laughs> uh, that was a good time. Um, yes, but that is uh, that is very <laughs> trash. Kip, let's talk about DraftKings Sportsbook, baby. Ooh-wee, we're talking to big dogs in the building. Ooh, the arr, boys arr, are in arr. the action already this year. We're uh-huh. in it. We're in it early. We're doing a little betting over there. Yeah. Going heavy with the NFL. Uh-huh. Heavy with the birds. I heard Tony bet the house on a bird, so yeah. they better cover. It's fun, man. I never did it before. I'm in it now. We're doing it. It's it's fantastic. It adds a little spice to your life, baby. It adds a little spice to the games, man. It's a good time, I'm telling you. And to celebrate the return of football, DraftKings is giving new customers a can can't miss offer. Bet just five dollars on any football game and get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly, Daddy. That's what we're talking about. There's the turkey. Uh, want more action for opening night? Experience the thrill of DraftKings Draft early win promotion. This is where you bet on any NFL team of your choice, and if your team leads by seven points. At any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team Woo! loses. 
That's the turducken right That's there. That's good stuff. DraftKings is safe, secure. That's deep fried turkey. And reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Here we go, baby. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code AYG to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's Boncos. <laughs> That's code AYG. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Do it. Do it. Kip, let's talk about feels. Touchy, feely. I love it. Like feels, little CBD. You like getting a good night's sleep. You like having your anxiety going down. Uh, You like having a clear head. Just melts away, baby. Few drops under the tongue. That's right. Feels got you. Takes care of you. Uh Uh-huh. You can feel the difference in minutes. No hangover, no addiction. I've been a big CBD guy for a few years now. Found it. It's true. Love, he has. Love the little drops under the thing. Started out with feels. Be way before we even did this podcast. I know. They were sending it to me. I was dosing, doing it. It's fantastic. Just takes that takes that edge off. Lowers the shoulders a sure. little bit. Loosen the neck. And a good night's sleep is important. Believe me, I know. I know. Navigating the world of CBD can be complicated. Feels makes the process as simple as possible with free CBD hotline to guide you through the process. Any questions you have, they can take care of it. Feels hassle-free membership program is guaranteed to help you feel the best month after month or your money back. I highly recommend the subscription model. Uh, They send it right to you. You never have to be. Because I used to be like, I'm out. I'm out. And I go, oh, never mind. They sent it it yesterday. It's in a medicine cabinet. Let's do it. Uh, Feel CBD infused mints give you the clear headed feeling on the go. Ship direct to your door only a few days. Feels is a new natural, healthy, better way to feel. Uh, Start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash garbage and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's feels, F E A L S dot com slash garbage to become a member and get 50% off. 50% off automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash garbage. Do it. Now back to the show. Stopping at a casino to smoke cigs. I got to know more information. How long was he fucking? Does a four hour commute? What I you know because there's always like some sort of on ramp or off. That's not just like pulling into a Seven Eleven no, and back in the pain fuck in out. The ass. I, this is how lazy I am. Depending on how a parking lot is orient orientated, is that the word? I won't stop there. No. I'll be like, because then you got to turn back around. You got to loop in. It's three left. Nothing worse than a big parking lot. Ugh. When I was a kid, I felt like we parked fucking in the last spot. Every fucking grocery store. It was like walking through the desert. How do you there. feel about this? I, I, growing up, a friend's dad used to do it all the time. He would park all the way in the back away from the other car so the other cars wouldn't like hit like, you know, that's wouldn't bump into him or yeah. whatever. And he drove a Jeep. That's crazy. I remember being, and it wasn't even like a brand new Jeep. Like it was like, my dad also had a Jeep and it was a newer Jeep. I remember being like, what are we doing? He parked all the way in the back. We pull up, he goes, oh, there's Bob. Bob's here because he was like the last fucking. That's crazy. That's a, that's a flight or, a flight or fight thing, I think. I want to be able to get out of here quick. Yeah, but then you got to you got to run a quarter mile to the car. That don't make any fucking sense. But meanwhile, there's no coverage because there's no cars around you. If you're taking <laughs> fight or flight, you put it in the produce aisle. I <laughs> know you fucking pull it up, leave it running out front, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, this one's from IP. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's IP freely. Uh, <laughs> That's a classic right man, there. I feel like Mo right now from The Simpsons. <laughs> Just getting got on all the phone, all the, the phony phone call. I hated that. What did you call prank phone call or crank, crank phone calls? I think we said crank crank calls. Crank call. Yeah, we said crank hey, call. Crank it's a call. crank call. Hang up. <laughs> it's a crank call. Hang up, Terry. <laughs> We'll talk about it on Hard Feelings, but I think I got one yesterday. Really? Uh Uh-huh. How do you do that in 2022? They called my wife's phone. It was a, I'm going to do it now. Called my wife's phone. It was a New York number. So she answers, and he's like, yeah, I'm Uber. I'm outside. And I'm like, (laughs) and she's like, what? She's looking at me like, did you call an Uber or something? I'm like, no, what? So he's like kind of yelling at her. Like he's like being, he's like, I'm outside. Come on, right now. Like, hurry up. I'm waiting here. And she's like, I didn't call an Uber. Like, what are you talking about? So I get the phone. I go, hey, buddy. And he's like, I like English didn't sound like his first language, and English is my wife's first language. So I'm like, let me step in here and you know, fucking really fuck this up. <laughs> so I'm like, hey man, we nobody. I'm like, I he goes, I'm here, five sixteen East Meadows Street, 
Did what? he give you the, your address? No. If he uh, would have gave my address, I would have fucking, I would have dead bolted the door. Dude. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he goes, he, what are you doing? Answering numbers you don't know. She death. She thought it was a doctor or something. Yeah. You know, um, and uh, it's a New York. It's a local. Not have a local number. They're calls smart me. now. They got they're doing local numbers now. But I'm saying if I get a local number, I'll answer for the most part. A New York City number. Now nah, those you got to watch f- those nine one seven numbers. But they're, no one's getting no. They're all listen, pumping dump scams. That's fine. I, first of all, I don't answer any call. But a nine a, a New York number, I'm more likely to answer. Okay. Nah, I got no bad history here. If somebody from Philly's calling me, fucking throw my phone in the river. What if I, gonna, I get hit up from a 267 number. I remember we were driving the other day, and I got a call from Bedford, New York. Yeah. Clay right. almost drove off a bridge. <laughs> I hung up for you. I said, no, thank you. Hey, we're not taking calls right now. <laughs> hey, listen, I speak for the big man. <laughs> Yikes. So I go, hey, man. And now he's, like, yelling. He's getting assertive. He's like, I'm fucking here. I need my money. You better, you better come. I drove all the way out here, like, you know. I guess he drove so I don't know what happened. So I'm like, hey man, listen, I understand, but you got the wrong. He's like, he reads the number. I'm like, that is the number, but I'm not. We didn't call an Uber, and that's not our address. He goes, well, where do you live? I go, I'm not fucking telling you that. <laughs> well, like, I'll oh, come but, pick you up, yeah, take you somewhere for my dead body. You fucking idiot. So <laughs> he's we're going back and forth. I go, he goes, I'm gonna fucking go knock on the door. I go, all right, man, go knock on the door. So then like. <laughs> You hear him, like, walk up to the house, and you hear him, like, not. And I'm like, this might be a fucking phony phone call. They might be getting me off. That's pretty good. Yeah. I told him go fuck himself. Bought a couple of Timberlake tickets after all that. Justin, Timberlake tickets. Radio. Prank call. Oh, you think it could have been a radio call? Maybe. Okay. Those are all fake anyway. Are they? Yeah. We used to have a friend that would call in and do them. It was like a gig for comedians. Like, we'll give you 50 bucks to do it. Oh, to be the receiver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, like, play along. I'll fucking kill you. My wife cheated on me. Whatever it is. They still make with the tickets? I don't know. Huh. Was Justin Timberlake was never even coming to town. The whole thing's a ruse. <laughs> Not even touring. Um, but, yeah, crank call. What did you say? Prank call. Crank call. Pr- phony phone calls is whack. <laughs> That's morning DJ cheese. Yeah, phony phone call. Yeah. Coming up uh, next hour, you got a phony phone call for you. Yeah, yeah none of that shit. Um. All right, this one's from Omar, the halal falafel farmer. As a tr- shout out to O, uh, as a twenty dollars shareholder, I demand satisfaction. Is it garbage to have a movie, cartoon, or comic book character on your credit or debit card? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would argue anything on there is relatively trashy. The custom credit, nobody really does them anymore. They're trash. I think and the, pra- people the- probably do them more. You think? It's the, easier. It's cheaper. The picture was always weird too. Ah, uh, Denise in the, the corner. Had that. Ooh, Her, yeah. Dude, it was like a 1980s headshot she got done at Sears. I remember even being like six, being like, "Lady, I've never seen this before." <laughs> you can't make a down payment with a Bart Simpson visa. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You're definitely split between multiple cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're saying you put ten on Goofy and tw- and twenty on Bugs Bunny. Well, yeah. Baltimore Ravens <laughs> Mastercard. A sports credit card is the fucking trap. You're better off having a fucking neck tattoo of the Flyers logo. Paying your wife's hospital bills with that. Yeah. Put that on Tweety Bird. Yeah. You're definitely overdrawn on. more than not if you have a sports themed credit card. Sure. Custom checks are also whack. Not that anybody really uses checks anymore, but that's pretty whack. Do you ha- I don't even have checks. No, nah, no checks. I haven't had checks in. You have checks? Oh, yeah. Well, really? who are you writing checks to? Landlord? My landlord. Now it's all online, which is sick. Yeah. yeah. I'm auto pay. I did too. I feel like such a badass. I know. It feels pretty cool. I did you have to st- rent on auto pay. I did have to stop it two months ago, but <laughs> <laughs> easy does oh. it. I'm back on, though. Nice. Axes are a sum of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, fuck, what was I just saying? My my mom had the picture. I any of that shit, but they're they're doing now. I see on like Instagram, you can send your card into this company, and they take it and make a custom like metal card that's supposed to be like cool. You know what I mean? It's Everyone's like, just trying to look like they have a black card. Yeah, but you don't. Nope. We're getting close though. No, we're not. We're not? <laughs> to a black card? Yeah, platinum, platinum's that far away? Yeah, but we are on the very, very, very bottom end of platinum. We're in the G League of platinum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave it to us just by, you know, contra- some sort of contractual obligation. <laughs> That's what you want with the prank phone call. Yeah, they don't, uh, 
We're 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 with American Express, kind of like you know, we're like a subsidiary. We're the you know, we don't have the main guys handling our. No, 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 no. We got a couple of juniors on the yeah, account. A couple yeah. of junior men. Three hundred and fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars across all their American Express Express accounts in a calendar year to qualify for a black card. How much? Three, half a mil. Three fifty to half a mil. Yeah. They get to spend. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's flying first class from here on out. <laughs> you get a house. You get a house. Um, no, that's crazy. We're not doing that. Okay. What does it get you? Hold on. Let's, uh, <laughs> what are the benefits of that? There's like a concierge service where, like, if you're like, "Hey, I'm on that, bo- you know, I'm on the back end of a fucking coke bender, and I, you know, I need to, I need, a, I need a location of a good rub and tug." They'll 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 hook you up. There's like some really? sort of concierge. I think that's twenty four seven concierge service. As a black card holder, you can take advantage of the Centurion's concierge service. That sounds pretty fucking sick. Yeah, things I can't spell. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they help make travel arrangements, purchase gifts, secure reservations at exclusive restaurants, get tickets to nearly any event. Damn, it's pretty sick, dude. Yeah. Not for free though, right? No, it costs half a million dollars. Yeah. No, but I mean, will they get you the tickets for free? No, you probably have to pay for it. Okay. Them. Is that crazy? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you're rich. That's just gonna, you know. I get my own tickets. No, you can't. You, can. you mean you're telling me if something's sold out? Yeah, they, they have get like they have like so like it's like take Hamilton for instance. At every Who's Hamilton that? show, there's oh, that fucking thing. I mean, I'm not asking you to go. Fine. Um, there's like reserved American Express tickets. Okay. I where gotcha. like they get first crack at them or something like that. I don't know. I'm a Miss Saigon man. I don't like using all that stuff. I don't like pe- I don't like I don't like getting in bed with people. Does that make sense? I feel like if I use something from them, I'm gonna owe them something in the future. Yeah, half a million dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just told you. And you're gonna talk to the centurions. <laughs> the centurion candidates. The fuck they I wake are. up, I'm an American Express card. <laughs> Good question. Hi, right, this question. room, Alexander. Do you scour the aisles after a baseball games for any lost valuables? Jesus. That's worse than a metal detector on the beach, god damn it. Crazy. But as a kid, when you would go, I would go to like my brother's like or like a friend's whatever, it's like basketball game or something. Not even a pro game? What? No, I'm not no. <laughs> You're cruising the little league no, benches? No, 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 no. That's what you said. You didn't let me finish the story. <laughs> Getting under a set of bleachers as a kid. Oh, come was, on. Yeah. You might as well have been in Narnia, dude. Yeah. That was a fucking good A hundred percent. If there were like the big wooden ones that would pull out from Fuck the wall. Yeah. Remember how dangerous those things were? They were. Kids would climb all the way to the top. They'd be like 35 feet in the air at a gym. Yeah. With no way down. Somebody just slammed those shut. <coughs> yeah. Be and the gym was the- awesome. Outside was awesome, too. Yeah. The metal ones. When you get, you know, if it was nighttime, get under there. That's where the hanky panky goes on. Mm-hmm. A little finger popping in you there. You tugging on your root? Yep. That's, that's like from an old movie. I feel. It's where everybody made it under the bleachers. Hanky panky is just fully eating flapjacks. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, please. <laughs> in fact, you're eating fucking pancakes under there. <laughs> hey, um, is there a girl back here with you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, this, sorry, this is back to IP Freely. Is it garbage to say this is a different type of money when you drive through a rich neighborhood? <laughs> that's my. That's definitely something. Oh, look, yeah, it's a different kind of money in here, boys. That's real trash. My dad would always downplay it. Like they, they anybody can get that. Yeah. I just choose to live in a split level. I guarantee you, they miss one paycheck. They're moving out of that house. Sure, I'll tell you yeah. that right now. Justify it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortgage is probably through the roof. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I remember one time pulling up with my my stepdad or something. My buddy's house, huge, sprawling, you know, so, like crazy estate. And my stepdad's like, this don't they? They did had the same. They were like both construction workers. Like this don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> he goes, what's this guy? Rob Banks or something? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good stuff. Um, wait, right. hold on. Back to the bleacher thing. You want to go under? No, as a kid. Uh huh. Um, at like a Phillies game, I would I would take a lap or two to see if I could find the little the little commemorative helmet. stuff. Yeah, the helmets, the, sure, the, the, the helmets some, or a cop or if a some rich bat. kid didn't take his fucking yeah. Sunday helmet home with him. Collect those things. Maybe a little chocolate syrup at the bottom. Ooh, or, yeah, huh? Still a little soft syrup. Wet your whistle. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, I, I get that. But we were also never big on getting there to get like the bobblehead or what you know, the first five thousand people get a t shirt or yeah. whatever. We were like that's yeah, no, we just never fucking did that. We've talked about it many times in this broadcast. There's only one giveaway. Not even a giveaway. One promotional move that'll get the Foley's out to any sporting event. And that Dollar Diesels. Dollar Dog Night. Yeah. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. God damn it, those things are good. You're telling me. In the fucking little tinfoil thing with mm-hmm. the bun, everything's moist and can together. I'd kill for a hot dog. Really would. You can have a hot dog, just no bun. Nah, that's the point. That's the whole point of the bun. Okay. A little musty. Oh, I did have a hot dog. All right. We had a hot dog camping. Sure. Yeah, it was good times. All, All right. right. <laughs> okay. It's been a hot dog minute with H. <laughs> Uh, speaking of care, this is from TJ. Uh, Ten dollar homie never had a Q red. Is it garbage to reuse bacon fat for cooking bacon to give it that extra bacon flavor? Whoa, Oof. that's pre- I didn't think of that. Also, I don't think you need fat for bacon. No, you don't. You just put it on a clean, yeah. dry pan. That doesn't give because you because extra- it pro- produces so much fucking fat. Yeah. Um, I thought when I first read it, I thought he meant to like cook eggs, which we did camping. Yeah, which is a, a nice, a very nice old school thing. Yeah. Same pan. The food freak could probably weigh in on this. But uh-huh. cooking, using bacon grease as cooking oil, I think is, I think is a thing. And I, I know that if you cook something in its own fat, that's, that's referred to as confit. Like okay. you, cook, you cook it in its own fat. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. But I would use bacon grease for eggs but or something But from the bacon different. you just made. You're yeah. not like putting it in a can... I don't know. My, my, my buddy Rodney's mom had it in a can, and she used that as her cooking oil. We, I think my mom puts it in a can in the freezer and then disposes of that. No, they had it in a can. garage freezer. They had it in a can on the stove, and I believe she would just take a little spoonful of it. Like lard. Yeah. Yeah, like Crisco, whatever that is. Oh, we were a big Crisco. Oh, house. my mom still, mom, so my mom what makes the cutties. I always thought it was like know, Vaseline man. or something. I didn't I know, know what it was. I don't know. I thought it was ice cream for most of my young life. Why can't I have that special ice cream? And why doesn't it need to be in the freezer? Because the, the cover looks really <laughs> advertised. It's that know, cherry it's the pie. Blue with the Woo! cherry pie. It's a bright blue. Yeah. Yeah. The only time I remember using it, like she, I remember she would like Crisco down pans or something for like baking maybe. Mm-hmm. And then also, too, that's what we, that's what we uh, put in the fry daddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's just oil. Yeah, it's just like hardened. It's like fat, I hmm. would presume. But cooking bacon in bacon fat seems pretty fucking bananas. redundant. Yeah. But to each his own. Mm hmm. Uh, this one's from Adam. Haven't had one read yet. Is it garbage to get a check for your birthday gift where the giver says, wait until the end of the month to cash it, and even when you do, the check still bounces? Oh, my God. God, that's a, that's a bad grandma right there. Jesus, that's t- I hated it, the fucking getting a check as a kid. It I like, want cash money. It seemed like such a chore. Greenbacks, so, let's might, fucking go. You might as well give me a fucking savings bond. I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to see the benefit of this for fucking weeks. This was the three the to nine, five business. This days. was the nineties. I know. Three days as a kid, that was fucking to get ten bucks. Twenty or something? year sentence, yeah. I would. I'm, I remember at some point my mom. I started signing them over to my mom. Sure. And she would. Oh, she'd break she'd you. She'd break me off with the cash. Yeah, my patty would still make me wait mm-hmm. and charge me an extra shipping and handling fee. <laughs> Got wet her beat patty's a check bit. cashing. That was three percent of fucking thirty. I would do. She puts uh, up the glass wall in she, front of me. She's in like, her do room. you have an account here yet? <laughs> That's a five dollar account fee. <laughs> Um, Two forms ID. Well, you know me. <laughs> okay, where's my birth certificate, Mom? There was nothing like that. That shit's gone south. But if you went to a bank where they knew you, remember that? Well, if you go in and they know you, you don't I need know. ID. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that back in the day. Uh-huh. Or they'd cash it for you. If you didn't have an account there, they would. Uh, they might cash it for you if they know you. Uh-huh. Man, we'd go in there like, hey, there she Tommy! is. Tommy! Yeah. <laughs> Debbie! It's how's Pam. The, oh, fuck. How's the kid? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I fucking hate it. I ha- also, too, like, say I did get a check from an aunt or something for 50 bucks or whatever it was. I don't if you know. give a check, it's got to be over $100 or 100 A 100's a check. 
Sure, whatever. Say it Every, was a hundred dollars. Everything check. else has got to be El Dinero. Uh huh. Cash money. I remember I got married. We got che- probably mostly, maybe half checks. Really? Yeah. Not from your friends. I don't know. Huh. I, I genuinely don't remember, to be honest with you. Checks. There was a handful of checks. I don't remember. There's a handful of checks. Uh, no, not from like fucking Pat wasn't cutting me a check, but Phil X probably did. He's a smart guy. He's got to have a paper trail. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's not paying, paying fucking tax on that. <laughs> he takes taxes out of that. <laughs> <laughs> he withholds it for me. <laughs> Kev, I know you're not going to fucking save this. $985.38. Kev, let's talk about ladder. Ooh, love that ladder. Let's talk about ladder. Let's talk about not leaving the family in a lurch. Don't screw the family, all right? Don't. You, you've ruined enough holidays. You've borrowed enough money. You've you've broken up enough marriages. Don't screw them one last time on your way out. Do yourself a favor. Go over the ladder. Get yourself some term life. Mm-hmm. Take care of the ones who take care of you. Yeah. Ladder's, that's pretty good. That's, Copyright that. <laughs> ladder is 100% digital. No docs, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just answer a few questions about your health in an application. Just a few minutes, a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder smart algorithms work in real time, so you find out if you're instantly approved. You choose. No hidden fees. You can cancel any time. Get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now's the time to cross it off your list. It is. Now here is the turkey. Pull out that little phone of yours, that little laptop, pick up the phone, go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Doing it. Back to that show. Back to the show. I remember getting the checks. And I, I mean, tall. I we were, I was in a financial position, hemmed mm-hmm. as hemmed as you could be. I just had a flood pants on. I, I was hemmed up, and like running. The, and I needed that three to five. Plus, these are a couple different banking institutions. It's not like I'm taking some Chase checks, some fucking TD banks, sure. a couple of fucking citizens, a couple of fucking whatevers. Wachovia, all Wachovia. <laughs> get out of here with that. First, first credit union. I never trusted them at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. How to dump them into a fucking TD bank account. So I was, I remember being, and I was a lot of plates spinning on how quick things were going to clear to pay the rent, to pay the whatever. I remember the next morning rushing to the fucking bank to get those bed, to get those suckers in. It was like a run. Keep, keep fucking the plate spinning one more day. <laughs> You're outside of the reception selling Chili's gift cards for 50 <laughs> cents on the dollar. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bald kid over there in front of Wachovia, <laughs> giving fifty cents on the dollar. <laughs> Shout out to It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. That's where you get it from, right? No, it's just what dirt bags yeah. do. Oh, okay. You never had somebody who had like a food stamp card or something? I'll give you fifty cents on the dollar. I remember we were at GameStop very early, and GameStop obviously notorious for their you know shitty uh, buyback whatever policy. Um, this kid traded in something. Or something and it was my buddy, and he was like, yeah, I'm just going to stand out front. He had, like a, he had like $200 in store credit or something. And we were, we were like 11. Like, we weren't like, it wasn't like you, we could hop in our own car and like go and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. Like, we were children. And he was like, I'm just going to hang out front and just, you know, when people walk in, be like, hey, what are you buying? Give me the cash. I'll put it on my store credit. And I remember being like, you're going to get arrested really fucking quick trying to pull this scam of something. Is that illegal, though? No, but it's just weird for an 11-year-old to be standing there being like, you know, doing a fucking three-card Monty with you. Forward, forward thinking. Would you, how, all right, you're walking in as an adult. To a GameStop? Just, yeah, I mean, you're obsessed with Star Wars. Don't act like, you know, you're into, like, fucking the S&P 500 over here. Fair enough, okay. <laughs> to a GameStop to buy what? More toys? So I'm wearing a Flash t-shirt. <laughs> I got a Slurpee in my hand. I'm walking into a GameStop. Okay. And the guy, or anywhere, a Best Buy, and there's a kid out front. Any kid, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. The only thing with a kid I'll do is grifter. Is give him money. What? I would just get like that's I'm, even weirder. I feel no, no like the, when the kids come up with the candy, that's different. Y- here you go. Yeah, go ahead. Here's five bucks. Go ahead. I would never do business with a child. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. insane. It seems grifty. I don't trust you. Where'd you get that receipt? I don't fucking know you. Yeah. Where are your parents at? Yeah, What's going on? you can't be on? doing that. Somebody should be telling you you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, you can't be exchanging goods and services with a minor. No. No. <laughs> no, no you no, give no. him a 20 guy, kid, get out of here, whatever. You would give a kid outside of a Best Buy 20 bucks. 
and say, hey, get out of here. If he was him, hey, if he had some sob story. And someone was filming. (laughs) Yeah. I'm a good guy. As soon as the cameras are cut, give me a little shit. Give me that Final Fantasy, too, pussy. (laughs) Hold on. Let's do it again. Let's do one more take. Let's do one more take. (laughs) Really sell it this time, kid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would, that just, I steer clear. I'd be like, I don't, I'm not getting in bed. Because you have, I, I feel you haven't made a lot <laughs> you of. Definitely gr- can't do that. <laughs> you haven't made a, <laughs> you haven't made a lot of good decisions that your eleven year old here doing some store credit cash scheme. Well, no, I don't know if the kid, the parents definitely didn't make some. Good That's decisions. what I'm. I, it, there's wrong turns at yeah. some to think this eleven year old thinks it's okay to stand out front and pedal store credit and let me wet my beak a little bit. Hey, you hmm. saved ten bucks. Oh, you're sitting there negotiating. Like, yeah, let's do fifty fifty. He's smoking. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't think you're going to get in there and the transaction is going to go as smoothly as you anticipate. (laughs) There's going to be some fucking roadblocks when you get in there and talk to an official GameStop employee. Who got you, little Ronnie? (laughs) Son of a bitch. This GameStop's been closed for 20 years. Yeah, it's tough. Um, This one's from Chris, $10 homie, first time. Is it garbage to take a doggy bag home from a wedding? That's fucking How do you tough. feel about this? They encourage it, but the centerpieces, everybody takes home a centerpiece. Did that shit ever make it out of the hotel? I don't know. I re- I, re- I I Those little uh, bags of Jordan almonds can kick rocks too. I don't re- I hate it those things. I, I think I remember my mom maybe a couple of times taking one and be and me even being like, "What do you you can't just take that? That belongs they, to the now they want you to." I know, I know, I know, because they pay money for it or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, they're ours. Just take them, and I guess it's well, typically flowers or something, right? Yeah, it's flowers, centerpiece. Yeah, I guess it sits at the house for two, three days, and yeah. you throw it out. But I mean, taking it back to a hotel and then from the hotel to the car, the car to the house seems. I got nuts. all this luggage now. If you're driving home. From the wedding, if it's a local wedding, uh-huh. I'll give you that. Yeah. If it's in the city and you're living the burbs, you pop in, you take it, hop in the car, drive home. I'll give you that. But Doggy. transferring free shit from a from anywhere bothers me. Doggy bag at a wedding is super trash. Yeah, Cause you got to think. Because you got to think the night's not over after dinner. They clear the plates. They put out the coffee. Everyone gets a piece of the cake. The dance. The pop. The this. The that. Then there's the after party. Then like there's the after party. the hotel bar. And like, we'll, oh, everyone's going here for. And drink. what are you leaving that on the table for the next four hours? Do, do they offer? Do you want us to? I've never been at a wedding where they go. Do you want me to wrap this? Get the fuck out of here! Never. Yeah. That's insane. Uh uh-uh. uh. Take a piece of cake home, maybe. <sighs> yeah, that I get. But then, like, what are you putting the steak and the asparagus in there with the cake? That's a bad look. The cake I get, because they, they'll even box it up for you and be like, you as you're walking by, there's like, they'll have like, you know, 50 pieces of box cake there. You know what the ultimate trash to go is? The two plates on top of each other, oh, like a flying man, saucer. Hold on. Shout out to fucking Chicken Holiday. It used to be in like Langhorn or Levittown. They used to give, they used to. <laughs> Chicken Holiday's all right. I don't know what that fucking means. <laughs> But I just picture a chicken somewhere down in Puerto Vallarta <laughs> with a couple on. of drinks in them. Just trying fucking, to get Coke. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just taking it easy. Chicken holidays. All right. Oh, for me, it was Kippy in a cabana with a 12 piece. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> Both of these are OK. Chicken holidays in my book. But I'd have to be British to call it a holiday. And it. Hello. Um, oh, no, chicken it was, holiday. It was a chicken place. You know, like a fucking wings to go, whatever, like, the, you know, a, a fried, ch- like one of those fried chicken places, chicken holiday. I'm sure you can find it or something about it. And dude, the chicken finger platter was like, it seemed like 15 pounds of French fries, 100 pounds of chicken, and they would cram it down with two pl- paper plates and staple it. <laughs> and that's, that was the to go. And like, dude, the fries would be sticking out the side. One would be stapled. It was fucking all right as a kid, man. Ooh, my dad said we were going to Chicken Holiday. Clear the calendar, boys. I bet they put out a decent honey mustard and barbecue sauce. I didn't fuck there. with it back then. I was straight up and down. That, a two liter of Coke, get out of the way. <laughs> I love a honey must. <laughs> a good one. Are you looking up Chicken Holiday? I am. This place looks all right. <laughs> it's still there? <laughs> I doubt it's still there. They got a couple locations, buddy. Sure. Are they in Pens? Is it a Pennsylvania thing? Or are they like all over type? It's, it's a New Jersey thing. Okay. This one was in PA. They crossed the river. There you go. 
I assumed it was probably like a local small friend, like a, you know, a, a few guys that owned it or whatever. Yeah. I'll, I'll it was their, like a Kennedy fried chicken type place. Yeah. On their Which stinks on their it was nicer. This was like a night, like a on their website. They have all their reviews like posted, like, like highlighting their reviews, right? They're all me. They're literally all Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it's all five stars. Awesome as usual. A plus plus. And then one two star review from Patricia. My four dollar coleslaw was forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Which, hey, I get it. That is two star. I, like I mean, it. it's a holiday. You can't be worried. <laughs> a lot going on. Somebody forgets your coleslaw. It's all right. I like a scoop of coleslaw. It's, dude, it's ten reviews and eight of them are from Kevin. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, the, really? The name Kevin? I swear to God. All right. <laughs> this is great. He can't write this shit. I'll put that in his fat court file. <laughs> Case closed on this porker. Uh huh. It's probably going to have a staple in you. <laughs> Squeeze you in a plate. What? <laughs> uh, all right. This one's from Tom. Um. Is it garbage to bring a KFC family meal complete with sides to the beach for lunch? Yes. 100%. The beach is a... Is a it can go bad quickly on, on a, what you're eating there. Acceptable foods to be eaten on the beach, which we've touched <laughs> on, but never maybe made a formal list. Well, it's tough because... Hot dog sandwiches. You, did you guys not just see what just happened? What? This guy's question is about a chicken holiday. It's true, chicken on the beach. My God, it is. Sometimes I think there's, like, somebody else writing this show. There's, like, a bigger force writing this show. That's wild. Uh Uh-huh. Or just live in some simulation, and in the next room over, there's another podcast where that didn't happen. Make the fat one fart. (laughs) Yeah. You didn't coordinate that? That just happened organically? No, I brought up Chicken Holiday organically, and then I saw there was another chicken one, so I brought that up. I didn't realize it was a chicken chicken on a holiday. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do it, man. Uh, Anything that the sand could get in. But the, this is tough because you, uh, this is my this is how I struggle in life a lot with your hands are inherently sandy at the beach. Yeah. But you only eat with or there's you know your hands are predisposed to be sandy at the beach, but you only want to eat things with your hand at the beach typically. Yeah. You know, sandwich. Hot dog, pretzels, burger, cheese pretzels, pretzels, bags of chips, burgers. Where are you getting? Burgers? I don't know. I made up burgers. Hot, Hot dogs, um, sandwich, hoagies, hoagies. The Sammy. hoagie is really the 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 beach food. Mm-hmm. We'll do pizza too, which isn't bad because they'll deliver down on the beach. Okay, you just call up. Hey, I'm on fucking 14- Sam's. Sam's doesn't deliver, but you go. Hey, I'm on 14th Street Beach, and whoever they'll like just come and you just look. They'll walk up. That's not bad. Um. Especially because we're such a huge crew at the beach. It's, it's like, just get fucking six pizzas and everybody will fucking eat some fries from Curly's Fries. Shout out. Some place also does uh, funnel cake french fries, which is wild. What? I don't know what they are. Is it just strips of dough? Maybe, but it's like a little more savory as well. Like, I don't know what kind of fry things. I don't know. Maybe it's french fries dipped in uh, funnel I cake batter. Th- I don't think so. It might just be the shape. I'm not sure. But for some, whatever it is, even if it is the shape. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's shaped like a funnel cake? It's shaped like a French fry. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's just strips of fucking dough. Toby's on the case. It's strips. It, instead of making the whole funnel cake, they just do like fry-shaped okay. things. Okay. And then they, pe- same thing, powdered sugar, something to dump, dunk it in. Yeah. But it is more savory. I don't know if they salt it a little more or something. It's a little more hmm. hachi-machi. Either way, I'm in. Uh-huh, it's pretty good. Yeah. I remember one of the kids came back with, I'm like, God, what are those? They're like funnel cake french fries. And I was like, yo, what the fuck did you just get over here, you little shit? Go get yourself some, <laughs> pussy. Here's 20. Huh? Um, I think KFC across the board is not good. KFC's tough. Anything with knives and forks. I would agree with sides, that. Sides, what are you going to eat? You're going to eat, fuck, you're sitting there. First of all, it shouldn't be any hot food on the beach is a tough look. You can't yeah. be eating mashed potatoes and gravy on the fucking beach. You'd be yeah. have a fucking heat stroke. Yeah, that's wild. That's fucking nuts. Don't do that. That's wild. Pizza's all right because it cools quickly. If it's a delivered za, it's, you know, relative. That's as hot as I'll go. A hot dog, maybe, but, you well, know. Lasagna's good. No, you're nuts. Um, but, yeah, it's tough. I remember I saw one guy. This was last year, two years ago. This guy brought lunch meat and made his own sandwich on the beach. It, 
And I was like, that's fucking I think you told us this. Crazy. It's crazy. How, there has to be sand in that. Has to be. You're make you're peeling like pieces of turkey and cheese. And you think sand's really small, but when a piece is in your mouth and might hits as well it, might be tooth, chewing a fucking boulder. Oh, oh, you hear it. Yeah. You get Crazy. sometimes they get muscles or clams. Be shitting sand of them for in a there. week. Yeah, it's no, <laughs> no way jammed up. Uh, you know what we did uh, last time I went down to the beach, which felt pretty classy because Denise is you know getting older, right? Mm-hmm. She's you know. She we go down to the beach and she now if it's just her or, or a small crew like me it was me my wife and her and uh, she'll pay for the, the to come down and put a uh, umbrella in now it's like ten bucks for the day twenty bucks for the day because they have like rentals on the beach you can rent an umbrella mm-hmm. you can rent a chair or like a fucking car or whatever they have like a little station like every couple of blocks. She comes down, sees young kids, you know what I mean? They're like yeah, college kids or high school kids. Hits them with the 20, they put it in, you leave it there, and you just walk away. You don't have to fucking do anything. At 5 o'clock, they just come back and pick it up. I like it. It's a very nice. But I felt like a little, I felt like a little bit of a pussy. There's this kid fucking, you know, I'm sitting there like, eh, you know, where the no, chips at? That's I the... know. But as a man, he's infringing on my manhood. That's the man's duty to put that in. I like that. Wow. Oh. It's like another mowing another man's lawn. The less you got to do on the beach, the better. I hate all that shit. Drives me crazy. I don't do it. I'll pay pay a nice <laughs> little pool boy to do it for you. There you go. A pair of tight shorts. Hachi machi. Um, all right, let's do like a couple more here. This is from Gary. $20 stockholder here. No big deal. Never have one read. But has yours or someone else's mother ever shown up to your wedding with two dates? <laughs> what? Which is crazy. I don't even understand that. It's like preseason football. They're competing for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how you do the electric slide. Then I'll make my decision. Two guys wearing red pennies. That's crazy. I mean, I could see. I can't see anything around that. The... Although polyamory is uh, polyamory. And that what it's called is becoming more of a thing. Really? The multiple people in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Swingers, not upside those, down pineapples. Not with those old schoolers, though. Two dates. This is what? I don't know, man. I don't get it, but also, you know, to each their own, I guess. Yeah, enjoy yourselves. That would be weird. That's weird to know your mom's dating two guys at the same who were cool with it, I guess. That's strange. That's wacky, wild stuff. Hmm. Broad likes a party, though. <sighs> I guess. Hachi, machi. Definitely, definitely taking leftovers from there. There you go. Right <laughs> Put her between two plates. <laughs> Staple them. Chicken holiday. Pretty good. Uh, this one's from Andrew. Is your is it garbage to have a bidet that doesn't heat the water, rather just shoots the cold water from the toilet line onto your butt? I didn't know that bidets heated. The water was heated. But I was think there's a. Water. I think there's some. Uh, you know. Less in depth ones that you just fucking hook to the tank and you know it's just like uh just squirts the clean like fresh water okay that you would like flush the you know toilet with or whatever okay uh less invasive ones and then there's like the big ones that you look and they got which I bidets in a public ish restroom are wild to me you know what I mean oh that's wait no they're not. Really? What? Oh, they have them in hotels. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Just some hotels are like, you know, uh, it's not there's certain cl- podcasts you do that we go to that have them. It's and I'm not like, clean water, though, right? It's just toilet water. But before it gets to the toilet, it's it's fresh water. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not coming from the tank in the toilet. Yeah, but that would still be fresh water. But Oh, it, really? Yeah, where do you think that comes from? That's, that's water you can drink. In the back of the toilet, you can drink that water. Yeah, I mean, I don't recommend it, but yeah. I thought the that- only dirt from that. Water is that's in the tank. That's clean water. That's the same water as the sink. Really? Uh huh. See, I thought that there was pipes for toilet water and shower water, and then pipes for drinking water. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's all pipes, baby. Uh, no, it's all the same water. It is. Yeah. Huh. Uh huh. Damn, I didn't know that. So, like a, a copper pipe will run into the bathroom, and then split. Sp- go to the toilet. Go to the shower, and go to the sink. So the only place the water is not drinkable is actually in the toilet bowl. Right? Unless you're a door. Is this for future reference for you or something? Um, I didn't know that. I thought that water was not as good as what no, comes out of the No, it's regular, sink. fresh, clean water. Hey. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Yeah, and then when it goes down, it goes down to who they, I believe they call that the sanitary line. Goes down to poop shoot. Yeah, which is also the same water, f- the, goes in the same thing from the sink, from the... And it all goes back... It all is one in and one out. And it all goes water. back to the water treatment plant. They that take- I don't get, and I don't want to talk about it, because it makes me think I'm drinking poop water. That's why I'm pulling... Are. All right, let's change. I don't understand that. That's why you got to get the goddamn water filter, I'm fucking telling you. <laughs> Hey man, we'll stop drinking out of the toilet. That's that's the <laughs> fucking start. You don't need a water filter. I don't. I don't get other people's bidets. That's too intimate to me. That's too weird. Like your little butthole using someone else's. It's just like a water fountain, man. But for your I butt, know, but in, into like your most intimate spot, and that means that's been. In someone else's asshole to me as well. That's it's like your, reusing someone's butt plug. You consider your butt the, your most intimate spot? Mine's my earlobes. Hachi <laughs> manchi. <laughs> Yonji, get over here. I'll give you a little nibby. Kiss huh? my neck. <laughs> I would say the nipple is the most intimate spot. That's sensitive. Nipples aren't intimate. You show your nipples to everybody. I got nipples. Show my butthole to everybody, too. <laughs> it's on my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, how do I know this is you? <laughs> Easy um, way to find out. I don't. Uh, I just that's uh, it's crossing the line to me a little bit. I don't know, man. It's spraying your asshole. It's spraying your poopy asshole. That to me, if somebody goes, "Hey, man," if uh, this is the way I look at it, detach it from the toilet. If someone goes, "Hey, man," this is the thing I use. To reach around and spray my asshole with. It does. Do you have, want to hold it or do you want to use it? I go absolutely fucking not. It does have toothbrush vibes. Yes, thank you. It's like that's yours. I don't want to. I don't want it to. You know, would you shower in someone else's shower though? Yeah, that's completely different. Not asshole first. Yeah. Not upside this down. This is specifically for your asshole, and shit is different. You're not technically washing shit out of your ass crack when you're showering. You know what I mean? I am. I'm sure, yeah, obviously there's, that's not the main use for it. You know what I mean? You're washing your hair. You're Wait, doing it's whatever. not? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just for jerking off, do you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the shower to me is way grosser. Get a little wet work. Really? That's nuts. No, that's nuts. That's crazy. Uh-uh. It's in the toilet. First of all, this thing is in the toilet. Sure. Yeah. But it's just a hose. Going up your butthole. Yeah, that other people use. That's Are you I even think. a bidet man? <laughs> when have you used a bidet? I've been to Europe quite a number I've of times. I've never used a bidet. Yeah, it's all right. No, and I didn't see any when I was in Paris. Yeah, I don't think they have them at hostels. I wasn't in a hostel. It was the Charles V Hotel in the 4th in D.C. Mall. Okay. Everybody knows he was the worst Charles. The fifth, <laughs> all right. It's either four or six. <laughs> they called five him, things. They called him Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to kick him out of the family. He had to start and open his own hotel to make ends meet. This fucking guy. Um. All right. Let's see here. This one's from Tommy B. Never have Tommy. one read. How many meals have you eaten naked? Which I feel is a you thing. Sure. Really? Sure. Yeah. Um. That last, the last blowout that I had in the one hotel right before Boston, I, I was brought up on charges. I don't know if I was in Boston. That wild order was in Boston, and those charges in fat court didn't stick. You shook. The quesadilla and the blueberry pancakes. I think that was Boston. Completely naked. Completely naked. <sighs> that I can kind of get, but what do you get up to that? Well, where did they, they didn't deliver to the door. Hotels don't do that. So you went down clothed, unless you went down naked. This is what I don't get. I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but I went it, down. There's a series of. Uh, I went down there with clothes on, got the food, came got up in the st- elevator, took my clothes off, <laughs> set it up, and then got completely naked. Moved the the desk chair over right in front of the TV between the the the, the bed. Set the ironing board up. Put a put a couple chafing dishes out. That's exactly what I did. A couple I, of sternos. Yeah, you put the ironing board up, but you put it all the way down, so it's like a little table. Mm-hmm. I had myself a little time there. Sat naked, my little my little stinger h- hanging out. Yeah, I don't get that. That's uh, it was like a I, w- I wanted to be like completely free and like be completely my disgusting glutton self. I was in a real dark place. Whoa, this guy, 
It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. But that's the psychology behind it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's, I don't have that disgustingness or whatever. I would be naked more if it was socially acceptable. Uh, it is not. I want to go on the record. We have a strong you clothed policy here at Tootie 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 Inc. Or yeah, if I wasn't making people tootie sick. Tootie and Tootie. That should be our law. F- that should be our next venture. Start a law firm or accountant. Tootie Tootie and Tootie? Tootie Tootie and Tootie. There you go. Tootie and Tootie. Oh, there you go. Tootie. Like I even, I felt uncomfortable on the camping trip when I had my shirt off. Was I grossing you guys out when I had my shirt off? You were very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, because I also said you was that gross. Yeah, because I know you said you couldn't finish your Chipotle that one time when I was when I came back from the gym and I was all sweaty. Yeah, that's totally different. Is it? You were dripping in. Yeah, foley you, goo. you came in like yeah, you were eating and okay. it was like drips on the table. That was a little different. We're in a weird hotel room that had a dining room. So when we're in the right setting, I, I can feel comfortable to have my shirt off around you guys. L- listen, this is my take on it. Um. You, well, the rights, but this is you push the, the 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 boundary of right setting. That's that's my beef with the right setting is your hotel room. You should have your shirt off. Everywhere else, have a, everywhere else, your shirt should be on. My that's, shirt's usually off at the house. Yeah, that's why I don't come over. <laughs> that's why you're not allowed to my house. Well, if you came over, I would put my shirt on. No, I don't. No I think bottoms. you say that though. Yeah. Okay. And also, you since you have lost the weight. Um. You now can lift, you put your belly in your pants. Now. Yeah. It's no longer under, but now the belly's in the pants. It's a tough transitional And phase. along the side, it creates these valleys, I would call them. Crevasse. Where you can, and at this, Crevasses. A crevasse. Yeah, yeah. Two Grand Canyons screaming down the side right to your, your Johnson. Mm-hmm. And at the right angle, in the right lighting, with the right whatever, I can see a little too much down there. Okay. And I don't want to see. Not right. that I don't want to see, but it's just like. You want to see a little bit. Uh, listen, you can take your shirt off when someone else has their shirt off. That's the new rule. How okay. about that? All right. I, f- I feel like that's a normal. Hey, we're going to the pool. We're, you know, we're, we're changing. We're in a green room at a show, and ah, I'm going to change my shirt. Cool. We're all getting right, whatever. Other than that, <laughs> your clothes stay on. Fair enough. Socks as well. Socks what? and shoes as well. Why? Your feet aren't good. Really? And you do them a lot. Wow. And you go, I got great feet. I do have great feet. You haven't seen them in years, apparently. That's not true. I'm looking at them right now. Right now. What, the, what does that even mean? Right, <laughs> right now. You're, first of all, they're under a table. You have shoes and you have socks. That's how much you lie. I have a lie. camera down there. That's how much you lie to prove a point. Um, I, need, I, need to, I need to go see the girls. I need, I need to get a petty. Okay. And get some, some scraping done. But at heart. Well, I have beautiful feet. They just need fucking tools to shape at them. At heart, they're good kids. <laughs> yeah, they made a couple of they bad jokes. They just need a chance, yeah. Maybe an after school program. BCB has a great joke. Uh, oh, yeah. How long, she goes, <laughs> how long have your feet been smoking cigarettes? <laughs> People who have bad feet. It's a good piece of bitch. Shout well, out we, to KCB. I mean, she's over there in the Edinburgh Fringe. If you're over there, go check her out. Check out KCB. Well, we got to gonna... wrap it up here, gang. Okay. This has been a fun one. Okay. Nice little family episode. Good time. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Guys, check you, out a T-bone. check out a fucking live show. We're gonna be all over the fucking We're road. We're cooking, baby. Come see us. Are selling out. We're moving some tickets. Uh, the live shows are a good time. Me and the big man co headline. We come back out. We play AYG with the crowd. It's fucking cuckoo bananas. Want to see you there? Love yous. See you next week. Peace. Peace.